Hey everyone, welcome to Toy Break, episode 152. I'm Aileen. I'm George. And I'm still Tron. Whoa. He's Benny Boo. <laughs> Toy Break is your weekly internet show all about the wonderful world of toys, including, but not limited to, designer vinyl, action figures, plush, events, how-tos, interviews, guests, special segments, craziness, and more. That's right, we cover it all. Goodness. World of goodness. Uh, let's thank our sponsors, like Tenacious Toys. Urban Rascal. Fuzzy Balls Apparel. Happy Panda Toys. <laughs> Mini Cassette Tees. <laughs> Tilted. 3D Retro. Pay Saber. And Grumpy Bert. Yay for all our sponsors. Go to toybreak.com, click on their links on the left to check them out. Also, we have the Custom Pepper by Drill One contest going on right now. Uh, to win this one-of-a-kind custom by Drill One, just simply post a picture of a custom you've made or one from Drill's site, if you're not a customizer yourself, uh, in the contest section on the form. It's that easy! The deadline is February 2nd, and uh, come on, join. It's fun. You could win a custom, a one-of-a-kind. That's oh, a pretty cool custom. An O-O-A-K! And we're not judging your customs. We're just going to pick no. a random thing. That's random. just to prove that you're either a customizer or a fan of customs. Yeah. So don't be lazy. Yeah. It needs to go to somebody who appreciates it. It does. True. Also, we have a poster available. Very what? cool. What? This poster features artwork generously provided by Monster Forge, a.k.a. Charles Marsh. You can pick up the regular $5 print or a special run of 25 was made, which are signed by Charles March, Marsh and all four, all three of us, four total, Ooh. us and Charles. Uh, and those are limited to 25. Like I said, those ones are $10 each, and there's just a couple left. So uh, go ahead and jump on that if you're interested. 250 shipping anywhere in the world for either of those posters, and you can get those on toybreak.com. Support the show. Why not? Thank you. We appreciate it. Speaking of sp supporting the show, mm -hmm. we have a couple donations to thank for. We would like to thank Maddie Boom Batty from Australia and Matt from California. Thank you so much for your donations. We appreciate it. Keeping the lights on, keeping the tapes rolling. Uh, and we also, we had a really cool thing happen this last week. We, do you we, want to tell them about it? Keep we going. <laughs> we, we had a cool thing happen? Um, we had, uh, if you remember, a couple episodes ago, uh, George and I were wearing the Batman Boba Fett, we'll call it Boba Man? It's Bat Fett, actually. Yeah, Bat, Bat Fett. Fett. Why do I always go the wrong way with that? <laughs> we were wearing the Bat Fett shirts. Uh, those were from T-Fury, and we were mentioned in the T-Fury letter, in the what? Friends of T-Fury. No so, way! The, the newsletter had, you know, hey, check out Toy Break. They were I wearing the shirts. So if you're a new viewer from the T Fury cool. newsletter, welcome. thank you. Welcome to the show. Go away. I mean, welcome. Watch the show. Huh? Be quiet, Benny Boo. Oh, gosh. It's time for the news. Boop, 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 boop. News. Up first in the news. Is this like a lean break? I'm the only one. Show me your vinyl. Ha <laughs> ha. You thought I was going to say something dirty there. <laughs> This new social networking site, akin to Facebook, is specifically for toy lovers, like us. Make friends, join groups, post updates, share pictures. It's a virtual toy wonderland. You know, I'm so happy that Ben read that one. Wonderland. So go to showmeyourvinyl.com. And join. And uh, do it now. It's fun. You can come be, a, I'm on there, you can come be my friend. Ooh. These two aren't on Think there. Think it'll last more than the last one that tried this? What was the last one? I don't know. There's been a million people <laughs> try this stupid thing. I already have a Facebook page. No offense, show There's me your vinyl. There's some good stuff going on over there. All right. Contests, all sorts of fun stuff. Can you show me your resin on show me your vinyl? Oh, interesting. Are Probably. There's a whole uh, group for box collectors. You could totally join it, Ben. Oh, nice. I'm so not joining that. I threw away a lot of my boxes recently. Aw, good for you. Not all of them, though. Also in the news, uh, Mad Martian Toy Reviews uh, is now called Atomic Martian Toy Reviews. What? Boom, even better. Uh, so be sure to update your bookmarks to atomicmartians.blogspot.com to keep up with their shows and what they're doing. They just released uh, episode 10. And Couple digits. I think that's awesome that they're staying with it. And They passed the pod fade mark, so they might they stick did. around. Whoa. It's so cool to have more toy people out there talking about toys. Keep watching. We them. can only do so many every week. Watch them for more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And hi, Jason. <laughs> we also have some news. This, this news is specifically for Corey. So anyone that's not Corey, hi, Corey. you have to close your ears right now. Because only Corey asked for this. 
This is secret KV news. What? Holly heard Corey's call huh? asking for some upcoming KV news and passed this along. There will be a KV birthday party featuring custom KVs from 12 top UK artists happening this May. May. So keep an eye at heykv.com for more info. it's a secret. Hey. And only KV. only us and Corey know about it. Yes. Okay. You can take your hands off yours now. <laughs> uh, go ahead. Everybody come on back. Uh, uh, uh. Visual. <laughs> you can mean- v- visuals. Oh my. So thank you so much to Holly for that news and uh, thank you for Corey for asking for it. Also, the Art Hustle Guess the Hand prize drawing. Uh, Simeon Lipman, creator of the Art Hustle, uh, posted a video on YouTube recently showing not only the picking of the winner of the Guess the Hand contest, but the making of the prize. Mm, Yeah, it's pretty cool. So if you want to check it out, go to the links in Toy Break. Uh, the address is youtube.com slash card hacks, but you can click it down there. Easy. Super nice. easy. Definitely go watch it because it's funny. And totally they also fun. recreate the hand they do. with the little cape on it. Just to prove that <laughs> it's Prove actually. that it actually has. Nice. You mean the guys? Uh, or hers. Whichever the case may be. I watched the video. Go watch it right now. Hermes by Gary <laughs> Ham. This 8-inch vinyl figure sports a 12-inch wingspan and 8 points of articulation. This desert colorway is limited to 200 pieces, goes for $45, and more information can be found at hamandnulls.blogspot.com. Ham, delicious. You may have seen these creatures in wood form at San Diego Comic-Con last year. I saw them there. Much bigger and much more expensive, so now's a nice way to to own one. At a right. reasonable price in a cool it's like vinyl. Sne- it's like you're cheating the system. Yeah, it is. But 12 inches is still... It's still huge. It's, <laughs> it's still that's what huge. she said. It's average. Oh, what? <laughs> it's big. Whoa. Humphrey Whoa. Mooncalf, Verdigra. Verdigree? Verdigra. Verdigree? So Verdigree? I'm going to go with Verdigree. Verdigree. This Verdigris. is... This is by Dr. A. Yay! Yay! Uh, this 8-inch... Fi- hey, another 8-inch final. What do you know? This 8-inch mm-hmm. vinyl figure is limited to 100 pieces mm. and includes a removable cranium, brain, and clockwork key. It will be going for $90, including worldwide shipping, at pobber.com. Or pober. P-O-B-B-E-R. I think it's pobber. Link in the show notes. Uh, starting January 18th. Also, coming soon, be sure to watch for the Nocturnal Edition, limited to 150 pieces, and the Dapper Edition, limited to 250 mm. pieces. There may be an exclusive in there somewhere. Hello, gentlemen. I'm just, uh, I'm just, <laughs> just saying, you know. Yeah. Maybe. Keep an eye out. Working it out. Working it out. Working it out. Yeah. Working it out. Yeah. Yeah. That's the way I roll. It's bond box time. Let's do it. Do you guys know what time it is? What do we have today? <laughs> Posters? No. Azteca Series 2 Dunnies. Oh. Well, here, Dunny. pick one. This one. We Isn't got... it funny how, like, you, you zero in on one? Like, in the box. Do you guys do that? Because I was going to s- take that one, but then I switched to this one. Well, here, take that one. No, I Isn't that weird? To this one. But, like, when you see a box in the store or wh- wherever you buy your... Well, I'm assuming in the store. Uh, you get your, you're looking at the case and you're like, that's the one. So, or do you pick them all up and like feel how heavy they nah, are? No, I kind of, I kind of zero in. I Isn't know that it. weird? I wonder if we always pick the same. Like, do you kind of go for the same one in the case? Let's talk about which one we want. This is important. Oh yes, this is important. E. All right, which one do we want? Um, I want. <gasps> oh, he's adorable. <laughs> avocado. <laughs> <laughs> it's an avocado. <laughs> okay, the avocado is really cute. Um, but I want either Marcus or whatever that pointy is head this, one. Which one's Marco? Is this, who is The this? one that looks like speakers. Mm-hmm. Okay, I like the mini speaker one. Is that's that, cool. I don't know who that is. I'm not sure who that is, but that's the mm-hmm. one I want. It looks like a, it's almost a skull with a mustache. Okay, and a little knife. Yeah. he's going to cut you. One of them was designed by Miguel de la Barracuda, who owns... Does it tell us on there who, who everybody, on the poster the, who everybody the taxi is? One. Yeah, yeah, uh, we have um, space taxi. No, but I want to like I want to know which one's which by who. Oh, I think it's an order. So whichever one you see first, 
is what you're no. seeing. Is it? Because that mark is at the top row there, and that's, he's not in the top one. Oh, unless he designed two. All right, well, let's just open them and find out. Maybe it'll stay okay. inside. So, interesting thing, they now put a piece of tape Good. on the top. That so you don't open. To open. Yeah, except you can just open from the bottom now. Oh, I guess I didn't think of that. Ha <laughs> ha! Cheat the system. The system. The system is the down. Si the, system. The, system. the system is down. All right. Oh, I actually got one that I don't think I said which one I wanted, but I was going to point this one out. So that's funny. Which that's one good. is that? Uh, I got the one that it's based off the bunny with sculpt. Oh. oh, which is the one with no arm, the dunny with no arms. It was originally the bunny with, and uh, now it's got a little like Ooh. praying figure on it. Oh, this is interesting. What'd you get? I got the skeleton girl, but I got a different color. Oh, that's cool. Than the one on the box. Um, the one on the box is. Isn't there two on the box? Well, no. There's the one. Oh, that one. And it's supposed to be like brown hair, yellow. It's kind of monotonish. You got the mono version of Interesting. it. Interesting. Except for the like threading, little threading lines, which are pink and green. Whoa, you got a crazy one. I got kind of a cool one that from wow. the box you can't really. It's not even on the this box. This one's not I on got the, the box. special one. You got the question no, out of question. No, I got this one. Oh. In a different color. Wow. Wow. That's awesome. So this is by the Beast Brothers. It's a total like Aztec. I'm, I'm assuming it's Aztec style, Dunny. But like. The pictures on the box of that one, like the gray version, doesn't do it justice at all. This yellow version is totally like bright and it's got like the orangey color accenting it, but then it's got two little like jewel red eyes. That's awesome. I like that one a lot. I like that one. That's an amazing sculpture too. It's, it's huge. Cool. It's making lion face. I like that. Oh, if you turn it around, it's got its own little thing with the hands going that way. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even notice that. They even put the hands that way the head. in the box. It wasn't even... Can you turn them around still or no? You can move the hands down. They are still articulated, but I think it's supposed to be up like that. So it's like that crazy shape. It's so big. Um, I like it. Once again, this kind of proves that Kid Robot has moved the production of their dunnies to a different factory. Yeah. And the cool thing is... is are like, you going to open this one? Yeah, go for it. You want to open it? You yeah. open it. Yeah. 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 yeah, go ahead. So, um, the new factory, it seems, does a lot more. Oh, that's pretty cool. On the bottom, there's a foot. Um, <coughs> that's where I keep my foot. Haha. In So, they do more in terms of, like, different sculpts to the dunny. Like, it's more open to things, but yeah, it's, it's, it's cool. This is so. cool because it's got, it's a rotovinyl head still, and it's got cast, it's got uh, injection PVC parts, like, glued in. Cool, I like it. What do we got? Check this one out. is oh from God. Tepe. Whoa. That is awesome. Whoa. I have no idea what that says. Oh, wow. Oh, it's That's kind of cool. Oh, oh, it's that one. Again, better in person than on the picture. You can actually see the, the, the snake that. tongue is actually a piece of vinyl. Yeah. yeah, it's a little piece that comes off the face. Whoa, it's got two heads, too. Sticking my tongue out at you. Are you sticking your tongue Still out like at that. me? I like that one even better. This is awesome. not bad, though. Not bad at all. It's like crazy patterns. Makes your eyes go crazy. I think we got some really good ones. That's amazing. And the paint's pretty well lined up on all this stuff. It's hard to do on round shapes like that, but it's pretty well lined up. Wow. That actually is really well done. How are the arms? Pretty good. Wow. Even the, even the patterns on the things around here... You know, the fact that they just didn't leave it flat, they actually, like, sculpted it out. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's great. This is a great, great job. Okay, you guys know how I get all picky about my paint on my blind box or something. This is really nice. <laughs> I mean, that's such an intricate little line design. This one's and got it's a, done really well. Good job, Kid Robot. This one's got a bit of a melty head. Like, it's kind of misshapen. Oh, weird. But, uh... That's, I probably just went in the box too early or something. Sure, it's not the same hmm. for all of them. No, I think I see. No, it's I see what he's miss, talking it's about. It's got a it's misshapen a little, head. It's a little wonky. Oh, that's I the like one the from De La Barracuda. I like the stars. You can tell there's the there's the Barracuda logo. Oh, okay. They have a nice gold. Yeah, the gold like is look. really nice. The paints are really nice on these. I'm just gonna say winner. This was a good batch right Whoever here. Whoever pulled I, this one is definitely the winner. <laughs> Why, thank you. You know, I try at these things, and, um, you know. We'd like to present you 
this war. They like me. They really, really like me. <laughs> Doesn't get me. <laughs> All right. So, no, don't put in mouth. Don't. Don't put in mouth. All right. So, Dunny as Tekka Series 2. I like it. Good work. It's very good. I dig. Very good. Um, nine ninety five. From what we've seen. Go get them. Where could they get them? Any of our uh, sponsors. Like? Like 3D Retro. Ah. <laughs> good to know. <laughs> Shall we on to reviews? Yes. Reviews. Reviews. George, give us something to review. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? It's white a big box. white box with nothing on it. I, I love it already. It's good. It's a DIY box. You know what that means? That means it was sent for patch together. Of course. Let's figure out what it is. Okay. I'm going to wait until you take it out carefully and not cut you with it. You. Thank you. I appreciate it. I cut you. Do you remember that when I accidentally cut George with the box? Although I think he brought it on himself. I bled for days. <laughs> he did. We bleed for you on this show. Ow. Wow, that was that, intense. That was for you. Ooh, what the? So this is called the Glowing Mushroom oh, Wolf. Oh, man, I hate these things. <laughs> Here's another reason resin sucks. It's got to be shipped in styrofoam. What is... I don't... Well, the white stuff shouldn't be on there. That's crappy styrofoam. <sighs> okay. So this was made by Chaos Dog and Patched Together. It's a four and a half inch resin figure. Uh, it's currently out of stock on patchtogether.com, but go check it out. And I think they have that, that thing where you can ask them to make more of... It's a wolf a with story. herpes on its back. It is exactly that. Is, that. is that what it is? It's mushrooms on the back of a wolf. You I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it. it off the base. Okay, Because I feel it's going to fall off until you, like, you glue it. <sighs> more foamy white stuff. Um, what was that about foamy white stuff, Ben? <laughs> Everywhere. It does come with the glue, as do mo all the patch together pieces that need to be glued. Comes with a little bottle of glue, Just so you to can glue, glue it, it to the base. So, okay, so it's a wolf. Uh huh. And there's mushrooms growing on the back of it. Uh huh. And it's called glowing mushroom wolf. And it's called glowing mushroom wolf. Don't get me wrong. The sculpt is good. Is it? I haven't looked at it. Well. You can't tell too much detail because it's glow in the dark. Or I hope I, I think it is it's, glow in the dark. Yeah. It is. I don't know how well it glows in the dark, but um, I I don't get it. Is this a specific character out of something? Not that I'm aware of, unless it's Chaos Dogs, unless he has a, he or she has a comic or something like that. So is this just a wolf that goes around and it grows mushrooms on his Maybe back he and... pretends to be a mushroom patch. To lure his bait, his prey in. He it's baits a, them with mushrooms. It's a mystical wolf that baits with mushrooms. Is there something, is it just me or is it like, ew, grody to touch something, even if it's fake mushrooms? I think it's kind of cool. I'm like, hey, you know, but it's like, um, I, I, I hope there's a story behind it. The mushrooms are fun. Yeah. Kind of want to pull them off, don't you? Yeah. Yes, it's George? It's a wolf with mushrooms on its back. What, what were you going to say, George? How much? What? I have no words. You love it that much? Can I see if it even attempts to glow yet? George is speechless. Speechless. <laughs> um... There's got to yep, yep, be glows. there's got to be some kind of a story behind it. Do you think they were like really high or something and they were like dude dude, dude wolf with mushrooms on its back. <laughs> what if we That's took awesome. What if we took a moment? Uh-huh. And we researched something. It's very sharp. Should we research this? I didn't find any information on it. I, I only briefly researched. Did you type, like, Chaos Dog into, like, Google? No. Let's, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause. <coughs> we're going to pause the show. And we're going to type Chaos Dog into Google. Okay. Just say. Wolf, mushroom. Just say, to the internet. To the internet. To the internet. To the internet. We're back. 
From the internet. From the internet. Uh, okay, so basically what we found is Chaos Dog is an artist, and he designed this wolf. This one. He wanted to, it's a night. He wanted to get the night glowing toy made of his mushroom wolves, and he basically based it off of his love of luminescent wolves mm-hmm. ah, it's and his love of bioluminescence, especially glowing mushrooms. So you take the two things that you love. Put it together, and therefore you have it. that. And yeah. his original version was like a regular white wolf, mm-hmm. um, and then with like a white fur with a greenish champagne color, and the mushrooms growing out of it. Um, it looks just like the art. It does. They did a good job. Can I say? It feels very much like when you have a, a something designed in a computer, and then. A, out, printed out on a rapid prototype machine, it feels exactly like that, not cleaned up. It has a lot. Of, there's a lot of points on it. A lot of a lot of points. Well, is that pieces. good because it's supposed to be like fur? It is sharp. It's hard to see. I mean, I think the fur is good, good, mm. but it's hard to see because there's no paint. There's I would no like color. to put like a wash on this mm. and see Actually how see it looks. It. Yeah, because mm. then you'll have the glow underneath, but like a nice wash over top. Like of a it. black wash. No, like a white wash with a green, like he like he was talking about in this piece. Okay. Um, I don't know. It looks just like his art. I think they did a great job. This yeah. looks good. Yeah. I'm going to change my mind. You can go to his website, oh. which is chaosdog.de, and okay. um, see the actual drawings, which these are based off of. And you can also look up Chaos Dog on DeviantArt to see <coughs> this as well. Right. And it's Chaos, K-H-A-O-S, dog. Right. you got to give him, like, credit for full-on just, you know what, make it all glow. Glow. All the way. Go. And it's sold go, out, right? Go glow. Go glow. It is. So he's got he's got a fan base there for it, so. You know what it kind of sounded like? Huh. Soul glow. Soul glow. Just and his, it looks like he, the painting he glow. did of the original art Feeling oh so also glows. Smooth. All right, we're Just done. We're done with this apparently. Through, yeah. We've moved on to singing. All right, Dawn of the Ted. <laughs> Dawn of the Ted. These Just are... let your Don't you mean Dawn of the Dead? Glow. No, I mean Dawn of the Ted. What? This is ridiculous. These are by Odd God Press. Uh, we have two versions here: self catering and let sleeping dogs die. <laughs> Check out BadTasteBears.com and you can pre-order them at BigBadToyStore.com for $15 each. Hey, look at that. You open it and there's little thumb holes to pull out the uh, the stuff. Isn't that convenient? And look at this. Just saying. It's printed on the box. I'm just saying. Not a big white box? Here you go. Here, you're gonna, you can look at that. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh. <laughs> tell, us, tell us about what you find over there. I find... Oh, oh, in a bag so it doesn't have stuff on it. Crazy. It's, uh, together. Are you watching this? It's bears. Not that we don't love you. <laughs> it's in a little bag, so it doesn't. Ha- it's not full of stuff that we have to blow off. There, there they are. Wow. There they are. So you have self catering, and Stinky. George has. Um, Let sleeping dogs die. Let sleeping dogs die. There's also. You only want me for one thing. My brains. Uh, rot and roll. Bursting with joy. And life's such a drag. So, um, yeah, there they are. Um, I was on the I was on the Bad Taste Bears site. I was on their blog. Uh, first of all, that. if you if you're not into crude humor, it's not uh, for you. Not this is not for you, definitely. Um, I mean, he's this guy's dragging a dead dog <laughs> on, a, on a chain, kind and he's funny. holding a bag of dog crap in his hand. Nice. Uh, while he's also a zombie bear. So, I mean, it's not going to be for you, but I, like I was saying, I was on their site and looking at their blog, and they had posted up some pictures of a very, let's say, Jabba the Hutt and Slave Leia inspired piece. Really? Oh, boy. And the Jabba the Hutt basically had like a giant um, phallic tail wrapped around the end. And, oh, like, boy. It was, uh, it was actually pretty cool. <laughs> I just want to point out, they have this one called Vixen. Uh-huh. Kind of reminds me of a minky. A cheeky minky? A cheeky minky. Yeah. Now there's there's cheeky a minkies would fit right in with these. They guys. would like hang out together. There's a big collector's <gasps> base for for these guys, isn't there? Brandon. Huh. That's messed up, but it's really funny. It looks like there's one Brandon that looks like the crow. the crow. It's called Brandon. Oh. Look, there's an Edward also. 
Oh, right next to... Oh, it's from Twilight. Puffy, it's a Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Nice. Oh, man. I kind of like that one. Any Back to the Future These are kind of ones? funny. Make a Back to the Future one. You'll sell one. At least one will sell. Do Doc Bear. Oh, gosh. There's a Rocky. Mar- Marty McBear. Marty McBear. Um, <laughs> wow, it looks like they, get, they grab all the pop culture stuff and really go for it. Nothing from Back to the Future. No, man. no Back to the Future. I also saw another one that Rocky. it took me a second to get on the site. Pretty funny. The, the, again, these are Dawn of the Ted Bad Taste Bears that we are <laughs> opening here. And some of the ones we're talking about are the regular Bad Taste Bears. Um, if you become a member to their site, you get a free uh, you get a, a free members only bear that, you know, it's only released through their, if you join their club. Right. But uh, one of them, I, I, it's called Fitz was the name of the guy. And at first I was like, what is, like, why is he, like, what's the name Fitz? Like, what is it? Mm-hmm. And it was kind of just like a, it was almost like a rocket shape to the guy. Okay. Then I realized, looked a little closer at the picture, and I realized he was in the shape of a butt plug. And his name was Fitz. <laughs> oh. That's bad. That was awesome. Multi-purpose toy. Um, Whoa. Don't, so these, don't put I think these are a little harder either. to get in the U.S. Um, I think they're more readily available in the U.K., but Big Bad Toy Store has them for but pre-order. But Big Bad Toy Store is getting them, so if you pre-order them, you might be able to get them there. Or write to them on the site. Maybe they'll uh, hook up with some more U.S. distributors. Let's look at the actual toys, though. These are uh, resin. Yeah. Pieces. Uh, nice. I kind of like the way they did the fur. It's just a bunch of scribe lines, but it works for the bear. These ones are sort of zombified, mm-hmm. so they've got some some blood and bones. And I actually think they look good, you know, considering it's a funny bear it looks good for what it is you know there's bone peeking through and a little you know blood and skin so that's nice i think the copyright is really funny because it's like a pictograph it's little pictures instead of oh, words yeah. like copyright and symbol the bear's picking his 10, nose. and then there's a bear picking yeah like it's funny <laughs> oh, maybe not. sorry i stepped on that for you that's i good. didn't mean to no <laughs> you can just give the punchline away it's fine it's... totally didn't mean to step on that um it's kind of like precious moments for guys <laughs> or people with senses of humor. Or people with senses of humor. I, I've seen these. Mm. I mean, there's got to be. There's. I think there's. There's a, tons of them. Collectors. There's yeah. got to be a collector's base for this. I think so. I think the sculpting is surprising. This doesn't seem to be up your alley, Ben. You're not here into this. You know, or? um, like brains? if there was if the <laughs> brains 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 he's eating brains brains, brains. <laughs> if there was uh, there's a lot. I like the pop culture ones. That I'm looking at here. There's so many of them. If there was a Back to the Future one, I'd definitely buy it. I'm sure Ghostbusters fans would love the Puffy one. I'm I'm sure. There's a couple on there that. Yeah. That Brandon one. Rocky Horror Picture Show. Freaking awesome. You know, Aliens one. Brand. You know, Twilight one. There's a, There's lot, a lot of, of pop good culture ones. ones. So. Yeah. I'm actually surprised at the quality of these. I, I stigma in my head. Like I probably shouldn't prejudge a toy, but you know, I thought. Eh, it's gonna be goofy, like something you buy at Spencer Gifts or, you know, something like that. I Fifteen think I saw bucks, them at whatever. Spencer Gifts. But these are higher quality than I expected, so I kind of like it. And this one comes with a good message. Lassie. <laughs> the uh, dog is. Oh <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I see that. You, you can look it up on the site. Look, look up Lassie on the site. I'll, I'll leave up. that up to you guys. Um, this one comes with a good message. What's that? Uh carrying a little bag of dog poop go ahead and go ahead and just pick up after your dog please yeah. when you're walking yes walking your dog if he can do it so can you all right let's move on to the next piece of review sure those are i think they're pretty funny and they're <laughs> actually pretty well made and they're pretty big like yeah four four inches i'd say it's it's they're pretty well made for and 15 bucks that's fine quality wise they're size. great all right um androids androids like the uh, phones? Not those. Guys. Little different. Oh. Uh, these are from. Uh, this is more of a mass market Android. Okay. Uh, because they're called Androids with the, a Z because they're street. Oh. Um, robots. These are robots. Robots. You like robots? I love robots. We have um, robots. A, a, a two pack and a, and a vehicle pack. I'm opening it. Okay. There it is. See it? Ooh, ah, uh, opening. Two rolling, battling robots. Blast into action. Aqualung and Scuba Miner. Isn't Aqualung, isn't that a song? I don't know. Yes, it is. 
So these are the aquatic robots. Okay, pop right out. Nice. Okay, this is not a twist tie. This is actually tied. Yeah. Luckily, I brought this. I always have it untied. Huh, mine just popped out. Want to get one? Sure. She's going to just play, play with it instead. I'm done. Oh, I broke it. Oh, so... Untied it. In the time it took me to untie, he already broke it. So it looks like the bottom is metal. Die cast metal. Die cast, yeah. And the body... Plastic. Like a PVC or something. Or hmm. Lots of articulation in the arms. Move them around. Oh. They just yeah. pop back in. Um, oh. Okay. I think you're supposed to... Maybe you're supposed to be able to mix and match. Maybe. Okay. Arms and stuff, I guess. I'll trade you an arm. I don't know if you're nope, supposed to be able to. Nope, that doesn't fit mine. Here. Here. Push. Let me see if... No. Push. It's, it, there's, oh, there's like a, mine has like a deep socket, but I this can do one's it. okay. I, I could, <laughs> I could put your arm in mine. Okay. Hello. I uh, want my arm back. Here. I don't here. know whose arm this was. Uh, this this nope, that's mine. This, this one's, one's one. okay. This one. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, how do they roll? They're, they're all, eh, yeah, it rolls well. It rolls like a Matchbox car or a Hot Wheels. Probably why they have the die cast bottom. Yeah. The only points of articulation on this one is the arms. The body doesn't move at all. Yeah, same here. Um, and that's it. Then there's the different kind. There's the drill arm and then the crap grappling arm. And that's it. Otherwise, they're they're not bad. How much do they go for? Uh, super cheap right now. The two packs are about four dollars at Toys R Us. Oh, two bucks for this? They're totally on sale for two. Two, yeah, well, four dollars for yeah for two, so it's, it's like two bucks each. Can you cut this rubber band, please? Oh, now you want the knife. <laughs> cut me, Mick. Two bucks each. I'd... Thanks. Sounds pretty cool. Ooh. So this truck has a situation where you can put your robot in there, and he's like, "I'm gonna drive a truck." But he's got wheels. But he doesn't feel like using them. We have legs and we don't feel like using them. So then he's like, I'm going to ride in the back. <laughs> That's what uh, happens. Okay, I'm going to be honest here. I don't get it. They're robots. Kids who like robots will like What's these. to get? I think they are definitely for a younger crowd. Yep. I think I would have enjoyed collecting these as a kid. For a younger crowd? Ooh. Like... Ooh. Small parts, don't put in your mouth, or yeah, you'll I choke. Do. I somehow managed to grow up without choking. I'm not sure. I put everything <laughs> in my mouth, but I'm still here. <laughs> Can we Sounds go back? like when you're asleep, Ben. Oh. <laughs> Choking on robot toys. Um, so. Oops. Hey. <laughs> I didn't mean that. You got excited. Oh. Whoa. Got excited. I swear, that's never happened before. Sometimes my guns just go off. Don't we'll worry about it. I'll we'll get it later. I think they're cool. Like, the idea is cool. And again, I think either for me as an adult, I would have liked a little more detail for me to be really into collecting these or playing with them. And as for a kid, I think I'd be really kind of miffed that I could like take the arms off and everything so easily because I would want to like bash them against each other and these arms are going to fall right off. There's a whole story to these guys. It's interesting though. Yeah, you can actually go to uh, androids-planet.com with a Z, and there's like the whole story in the world and everything androids. And every single one has a code on the androids on the side there. And uh, find the code and uh, enter it into the website to for your exclusive world. So I guess every android is related mm. to some world and some story and... Come on, I'll get you to safety. Okay, thanks. Is, can you find your code on yep. the side there? Found my codes. Just kidding. And with a code, you unlock bonus animation and content. So, so, so you, you can have some fun on the site. Yeah. Okay. Um, the fact that they're on sale so much probably means that they didn't sell too well initially. But for four dollars, they're fun. So get them now. You could totally go easily find these at your Toys R Us and look at this custom spotter. Yeah, I mean, with a better paint job, these would be really cool. Oh, let's repaint some of these. Okay. Well, it's not. And say we did? Yep. Okay. Okay, that's another option. 
Um, all right, we also have drunken carrot. Give us drunken things. And Miles. And Sophie. I want that one. You get that one. <laughs> sure. Ooh, it's soft. These are from the world of Mr. Toast. Ooh. I love Mr. Toast. We've talked about that uh, quite a bit on the show, but these are some more characters. Wow, those are soft. They are real soft. Ooh. These are 10 inch tall plush carrot. It's $7. <laughs> and the 8 inch tall plush ice pops are $7 each. All $7 each. <laughs> 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 All right, so this is pretty much what they are. There's not much more to them. They are plush characters from Mr. Toast, uh, AKA Dan Goodsell. Very soft. The stitching is really nice. The embroidery on the carrot. Mm. Do you guys have much embroidery? Because I have it all, the all down the back. The face and the smile. Yeah. The eyes and the smile, yeah. Good quality. Yeah. Uh, I've got a funny little uh, drunken bottle. I think, I think his whole description online was he's orange and he has a problem. If you're not looking at the world of Mr. Toast, you should be. You can go to MrToast.com and read a lot of awesome comics, which might sway you into buying these because they're fun. Not much more to say about these. They're cool. Fun. Plush. Yeah, they're plush. Soft. Like them. Use, use them as a pillow. Brought them up back here. I enjoy. We're good. Not good for traveling. Unless All you're right. a tiny... Hey, how about this? What's this about? What? 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 <laughs> oh my. Does this look familiar, Ben? Yeah. Glad you like it. Thanks, Benny Boo. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> that was for oh. you, Victoria. So, uh, Ben was kind enough to uh, provide me with this wonderful plush wicket. This one is from Underground Toys, 11 inches tall. Obviously, it talks. Uh, I found it for $30 over at Big Bad Toy Store. Probably available lots of other places. Mm -hmm. Probably StarWars.com, Stop Star Wars, probably things like that. But he is soft in a very different way from other wickets. Like, I don't really know how to describe his... It's, it's almost like a shag. Mm. Like the artist? Hmm? The artist? Not that shag. Oh. oh. Sure. Like shag the carpet. Ooh. Uh, but it's very soft kind of shag. And then he's also got... Uh, sort of a there's a word for that but it's it's a nice cowl what are you doing unmasking batman <gasps> <gasps> that's what he looks like you know what he's gonna do now <laughs> oh he didn't like that i better put that back on yeah <laughs> it's pretty funny it's got a cute little voice it only says the one thing but what more do you need it to say yeah, I, don't know. I like it I think right. $30 is a little steep. It's probably because of the talking aspect of it. I think $30 is a little steep. I'm gonna you can get a one. talking action figure for like $10. Yeah, probably. I'm going to throw one more thing just because it was in this bag that I had over here. Sticker off. Also generously provided by Ben for the show. Ah. Uh, we often talk about Doctor Who on the show. and it's uh, awesome. Doctor Who's Christmas episode recently played at Christmas. Oh, Pretty um, good one. Pretty good one. It was, it was a good one. That was the 11th Doctor, and this is going back to the 6th Doctor, who I have not watched yet. Yet. What um, year was the 6th Doctor, do you know? This was 1984 was... to 1986. Aha. This was one of the more popular Doctors. Are they all, aren't they all popular? Or this is more of the well-liked, you mean? Well-liked, perhaps, should be. Quite. Indeed. Should be the words. Maybe our UK Stira. fans will fill us in. This is from 1985, uh, the stealth Cyberman from Attack of the Cybermen. Oh, no! Now, if you know the Cybermen from the new series, like, awesome. like we do, they're awesome. So, this one it is a black version of those with a lot bigger head. So, I'm actually interested to go back and see. Oh, look, there's more of this. It must be a UK thing hmm. with this string. Because it's plastic, it doesn't damage the um, toy, maybe? I don't know. Thank you. Hey, good. UK viewers, let us know, do your toys come with twist ties ever, or do they always come with string? That's and is so that, odd. Is that something that they do in the UK? Is there a rule for that? Is there a reason why there's string? I think I like the string. Want to hold Ooh. that? I do. Here's what looks like his gun, maybe. 
Mm-hmm. Really smells really good. Oh so, yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good old time. The gun. Does it go around like? Probably, but. I feel like it would break if you try to. Here. Oh yeah, like that. I can do it all by myself. Nope, that's not. Let me tell you, the eighties were a crazy time. Because <laughs> this is totally eighties. Like the colors, I the patterns. Right, looks good. It's a gun. Uh, pretty cool. He's got a fun like sil like black wash over silver. Painted well, yeah. Body. I like here's, that he looks like a deep sea diver of some sort. Here's kind of a picture from the show, maybe some stills to kind of judge it. It looks like him. I mean, that looks good. It's the well thing. done. I love the, his little like open tie with his little like mm. question mark collar. Oh yeah, it's a nice detail. A lot of neat little details. Tons of little colors dog. on this. He's got like a Willy Wonka suit going on here. <laughs> um, looks comfortable. Pretty rad. I mean, this looks like a, it's probably a pretty fun doctor, especially when you go like compare him to like Christopher Eccleston. Or is he dressing to compensate for something? Ooh, maybe. I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen it yet, but we'll watch it, because this is Doctor Who's good stuff. Because it's Doctor Who and Doctor Who's awesome. All right. Well, uh, I think that's it for reviews for this episode. Nice. I think it is. So maybe time for uh, events? Thank you, Wicket. Does that mean events? It means events. <laughs> events. Happenings. Let's do it. Stuff to do. Sorry, I'm playing with another Android I found down here. In the little box. It's <laughs> the cool. it's plush really team cool. in Candyland. Candyland. That's right. The plush team is an international group group of plush artists who create unique dolls, toys, soft sculpture, and all manners of soft creations. Mm, soft. To very. Together, for the first time in a gallery setting, the plush team in Candyland shows show will feature sewn, knitted, and crocheted. Tasty Confection Creations at Hot Pop Gallery in Milwaukee, Wisconsin from January 21st to March 20th. So plenty of time to see it. More information at theplushteam.com. I think um, what you actually meant was Miliwake, which as we all know is Algonquin for the good land. No, it's Milwaukee. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Milwaukee. Come on, I've been waiting all day to say that. Okay. Milwaukee. Oh. Defeated. Also coming up soon is Brian Castlefort's signing. Brian Castlefort will be signing his new book, Paper Toy Monsters, at Monkey King in Los Angeles, California, on January 22nd. Check out monkeyking.com and castlefort.com. Not Milwaukee. How about Please Draw With Me? Please. Not really a toy show, but it's going to be at... Kid Robot New York, you can join Andrew Bell for an evening of collaborative drawing fun. This is again at Kid Robot New York on January 27th from 6 to 8 p.m. And you can check out information at creaturesinmyhead.com. And you say it's not toys, but... He will be revealing a few new designs from the new androids. Well, not not with a Z. Oh. Not androids, but with androids. androids. With an like S. Like the phone. Ooh. So uh, you'll get to see a sneak peek of some series too. Nice. Excellent. Oh, me. Super 7 one-off custom show. Over 30 artists premiere personal visions incorporating Super 7 and Gargamel toys at Super 7 in San Francisco, California. Show opens January 29th and runs from 6 to 9 p.m. The show is cash and carry, so get there early. More information at super7store.com. Nice. I like cash and carry shows. That is but fun. But you got to get there early to see it. It is fun when you can get there. I want that one. And then you can take, it, you home. take it home with you. It's fun, yeah. Instant After gratification. After you pay them, of course. Like yes, don't, don't leave without paying. Does that mean they don't take credit card? Um, No, I'm sure they take credit so card. So why isn't it credit card and carry? Because it doesn't sound as cool. Because it's not a pay saber event. CC and carry. <laughs> Maybe you should talk to them about pay sabers. CC and C. Cash and, ca cash and credit card and carry. <laughs> it's a CCCCC. CCC. I, I C -C. bet that they'll be taking credit cards at Toy Apocalypse, which is a Four Horsemen retrospective presented by Toy Tokyo Underground. The show will chronicle more than a decade of toy design uh, from the Four Horsemen at Toy Tokyo in New York, New York, from February 11th to 17th. Available for sale 
will be the extremely limited black and white versions of their most recent release, Scarabus, Lord of the Resurrected, and limited editions of the Four Horsemen poster signed by artist Nathan Barch and the Horsemen. Very cool that that is available. Uh, you can check out fourhorsemen.biz for more information, and that is coming up in just a couple weeks. So if you're planning on being in New York for Toy Fair, or you're just in the area, I would not miss that show because Four Horsemen show, when's that happening? And don't miss it. Now? Like February, actually. Well, then. <laughs> then. Soon. <laughs> Soon is the word. When will then be now? Now. Then. Soon. Soon. A lot of movie references. If you can guess them all, put them in the forum. Uh, that should be a contest. Back <sighs> to the future. Right. That's it. Wrap it up. <laughs> Use the coupon code TOYBREAK10 for 10% off at tilttead.com. Use the code Use the code TOYBREAK for 20% off at funcrush.com and octobertoys.com. Uh, visit the website toybreak.com for show notes from this episode, past episodes, watch or download episodes, video or MP3, and join the contest on our forum. You can download Paper Toys by Alexander Gwynn and Zakane. You can donate. You can buy a poster. You can call and leave us a voicemail, 818 am I good? We'll make fun of you, probably. Unless the call is really good. You can email us. us. We love it. <laughs> you can email us at info at toybreak.com. And all the other calls we get that we don't make fun of and don't play, we love you too. We do. Uh, don't worry, we're not ignoring you. We get them all. Thank you for calling. Thank you for watching. Email us at info at toybreak.com, especially if you have an event coming up that you want us to talk about. It's that way we know it's happening and we're not searching for it around the world, around the, around the web, mm -hmm. the world wide web. That sounds big. Keep up with us on Facebook at facebook.com slash toybreak. Ooh. Check out our briefs at YouTube at youtube.com slash toybreak. Follow us on Twitter at George Gaspar. At Aileen Gaspar. Burned. Oh. And now, here's, here's your, your toy, toy break. break. <laughs>